Shalom, this is Brother Matazal. Before I open up, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, Bashem Rapakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to Yaakim out here, teaching his truth and truth and sincerity. All right. Basically, I'm doing, going over a quick little lesson. You know, it's not going to be that long. Basically, I uh, just want to exhort younger brothers and older brothers in the faith. You know, a uh, couple of scriptures I've been looking at today. This is the book of Hebrews 13 and 17. It says, Obey them that have the rule have the rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls as they that must give an account that may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you. So really, you know, to the younger brothers, you know, that um, the sin of faith, man, the scriptures, you know, as, as we read here in the book of Hebrews, it says to obey them to have a rule over you. You know, so if a brother, older brother, you know, is giving you some uh, some instructions and telling you what to do, as long as they are righteous instructions, you're supposed to do them, man. You, and you're not supposed to have no grief. OK, because men are set up, you know, they have uh, the, the Lord set up men over you to watch for your souls, man. You know, to steer you in the right direction. It's not to uh, uh, belittle you, you know, or, or bring you down. It's really to uh, keep you sharp in, in the spirit, man. You know, the scriptures say that iron sharpens iron, man. You know, and the, old, the older brothers that's over you, that uh, that's uh, watching over you, it's not just so they can lower it over you. It's basically really so they can make sure that you're doing the right thing, man, and going in the right path. It's just like a shepherd, you know what I'm saying? It's leading sheep, you know? And, and if a brother get on you and rebuke you for something, you don't get offended. You know, it's basically, basically he, he had to do that so that he can get you back on the right path. Like a sheep going the wrong way, you had to get tapped over, you know, to, uh, to go in the right direction, okay? I'm gonna read it again. He said, obey them, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself. See, you gotta submit yourself. For they watch for your souls as, that, uh, as they that must give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For, the, for that is unprofitable for you. It's unprofitable, unprofitable uh, for you to be, you know, uh, um, being grievous, you know what I'm saying, for, for, for uh, righteous instructions, man, you know, to follow. You know, hey, the Lord is giving those instructions through that man, okay? This is a uh, real quick. Uh, I'm going to uh, First Peter. Like I said, it's not going to be a real long lesson. This is First Peter 5 and 1. We'll start at verse 1. He said, The elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder. And a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof. See, the older brothers got the uh, uh, um, a job too, you know, to do, and and their job is to uh, feed the flock and taking the overs uh, oversight. You know, making sure brothers are staying on point, making sure brothers are doing what they're supposed to be doing, okay? And, 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 and uh, teaching younger brothers, man, is the, the scriptures, you know? That's why older brothers got to get, um, you know, studied up too even more because there's younger brothers in the faith that are going to have questions, you know? He said, feed the flock of the Most High that, like it, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Neither as being lords over Yahweh's heritage, but being examples to to the flock. See, you know, it's you know, brothers are not set up to to, to lord over you or to be you know, just to uh, 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 make you do something, to have you doing stuff that you don't want to do. They set up to be an example, you know, walking in the word, you know, being, you know, showing you how the way to be, you know, 
we supposed to walk in, the, uh, uh, in his faith, you know what I'm saying, according to the will of the Heavenly Father, to be an example to younger brothers. Okay? It says, neither as lords, it's like him read that again, it says, neither as being lords over Yahweh's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. See? So basically, we uh, 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 if you're doing the will of the Heavenly Father and doing it right and being a good example, you're going to get a reward, man. You're going to get a crown that fadeth not away. That's going to be your prize, man, if you stay in doing in, in, in this uh, thing until the end. Verse 5, it said, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. See, the most high, that's why you got to submit yourself to the, to the older brother, you know, that's in the faith, man. If the brother tell you to do something, and, and if it's according to these scriptures, it's not off, man. You're supposed to do it. But see, that's what iron sharpens iron come in at, man. That's why we got these different curriculums set up, all these different camps. You know, we have Bible studies. You know what I'm saying? We give brothers tests. You know, um, uh, brothers got certain roles they uh, play in the camp. But, you know, hey, man, it, it's all about having order and structure according to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and the iron sharp iron, man, basically having you in the scriptures, man. That's going to keep you in the scriptures to see if, you know, if this brother telling you to do the right thing. If you don't think he's telling you the right, to do the right thing, you, you can look it up in the scriptures. Everything in the scriptures, man. You know? And read that verse again. He said, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all ye be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh resisteth the proud. See, the most high going to resist you if you're being puffed up in pride because a brother told you to do something, you know, and you don't like because you don't like it. So you got to learn how to humble yourself, man, because this thing ain't about that. It's about uh, uh, man uh, becoming. Uh, uh, it's about becoming uh, humble, man. Being in humility. You know, it's nothing wrong with being uh, humble, man. It's something wrong with being proudful, though. You know, can't nobody tell you nothing. That's that's going. The scriptures say that pride comes before destruction. The Lord will destroy you. You will get kicked out the camp. You'll get kicked out. Of, that'll be the Lord kicking you out, man, with your prideful self, man. And then seven more demons worse than the first one that was on you going to come back on you, man. And then you'll be a bug out in the world because of your pride, man. You know, you don't want to you don't want to be proudful, man. Believe me. I done seen some proudful dudes, man, going back into the world and now they bug the hell out. They crazy in their mind. They're not right, man. He said, well, uh, he said, and, and be clothed with humility. See, be clothed with humility. You know, uh, he said, for Yahweh resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. So the most high going to give grace to you, to the brothers that's being humble in this thing, man. That's humbling down, man. That can admit that, hey, you know, hey, I made a mistake. It's okay, man. Just, just, you know, don't do it no more. Get better. You know, learn from your mistakes. He said, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. Let me read that again. He said, humble yourselves. You know, humble yourselves, man. He says, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. The Most High will exalt you in due time, man. When it's time for you to be exalted. But right now, man, take the low. Take the low for brother getting on you or, or uh, uh, chastising you, telling you because you're going off, man. Or, hell, you might have not even, you know, did nothing wrong. You know, you might have been you might have been right in a situation, but certain situation it's best to uh, uh, suffer wrongfully. Like Peter said, man. You know, it's, it's best to uh, suffer wrongfully. Eventually, the heavenly father, he going to reveal that you ain't you didn't do nothing wrong. You see what he said? He says, that's why I said, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that 
he may exalt you in due time. In due time, the Lord going to exalt you, man. The Lord going to reveal, you know what I'm saying, what, 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 what really went down. You know, actually, you know what? It's going to help you build character, too, to learn how to take the load, man. It's going to help you be a better man. And how about Shimei Awashai? He says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. So cast all your cares on your how about Shem Yahweh The Lord care for you, man. He got you. Don't worry about it. Just stay humble. He said, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You know, Satan is walking around here, man, sifting, sifting, sifting you as wheat, trying to sift you out this truth, man. Testing your pride, man. If you know you got a, 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 a proud demon on you, you know, and, and you you it, it's hard for you to deal with certain things, man. But you want to fight this good fight. You got to fight harder. You got to do things like uh, you got to fast, man, more, man. And pray that the Lord get those demons off you. That proud demon, man. You know, you got to pray and ask the Lord to get that off of you. Get it, get it out of your uh, spirit, man. You got to keep fighting this good fight, man. You got to do whatever you got to do, okay? That's why he said to be sober. Because you got to be, you gotta be uh, uh, sober, man. You got to be alert, you know? You got to be alert for Satan, man. He can come in all forms, man. All different ways, hitting you from all different directions. Through anybody. And through any situation. Even with a brother. It can be with a brother, man. But you got to have the wisdom on how to deal with certain things. You got to be careful, man. That's why Paul said to walk, uh, to be circumspect, man. Okay? You got to be circumspect in the spirit. You know? And when you resist, man, the scriptures say resist the devil and he shall flee from you. If you, if you resist him, man, hey, your adversary, he going to flee. He going to get away from you, man. That's another victory. You know? But that's all because of the Lord, though. He says, uh, Salakia. Uh, verse 9, he says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So all the brothers be going through different tests, man. We all go through the same things, man. You're not the only one. You're not by yourself, man. You got a lot of brothers you can go and ask questions, man, you know, on, on how to deal with certain situations, man. We've all experienced different things, man. And, and believe me, it's a brother that can give you some good advice, man, on how to overcome these things, you know? Because that's basically what we're doing, man. We, we overcoming ourselves. We overcoming this flesh. We overcoming this world, man. You know, and we got all, the Lord gave us all the right uh, 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 tools and resources, man. He gave us the apostles. He gave us elders, you know, and he gave us older brothers in the faith. You know, we got all the right tools, man. We got the word, number one. We got the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? He says, But the, the most high of all grace who had called us into his eternal glory by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. With that, we give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Wakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of great most known that rule well. Peace and salutations to all your Akim out here teaching this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.